annual flood water from the Murray River is what formed the Barma Millewa Forest. First Nation people have lived and shared in this experience for thousands of years. Under the Living Murray program, the Arthur Ryler Institute are contracted to come out here in the Barma Millewa Forest to monitor three different types of species across 20 different sites in the Barma Millewa Forest. So here we have our broadshell turtle, endangered species. This is the Murray River shortneck turtle. Both the Murray River shortneck turtle and the broadshell turtle are endangered and critically endangered. And this is our eastern longneck turtle. This little fella is a bit more quiet, but the eastern longneck turtle you can see the nice dark lines on it. And out of them turtles, there's one of them we eat, and there's a couple of them are our totems. The turtle is a culturally significant species. The Living Murray program has an indigenous partnerships program which is engaging with traditional owners to be involved with the turtle monitoring. This indigenous program came about through investigations on opportunities for students at, at our school. We had two students who really are wanting to complete their HSC and we know that the natural attrition rate for Aboriginal students is they complete school way before their time and this is a program that we've started up with Parks and Wildlife with our Yakawa Indigenous Knowledge Centre and the local land services in a collaboration to come together and see if we could make this outcome a more positive one for students. Murray Local Land Services can offer these trainees the opportunity to get out on country, the opportunity to connect back to country, to work with government agencies just to get out here and get reconnected and in the meantime provide them with the opportunity to grow as an individual, get their skill levels up to encourage them to get employment in the future. Well, the training ship is very important to the young ones now they're learning and I think it's a very important training ship for all our young ones that haven't been out in the forest. You know, a lot of our young ones now live in the towns and that, but to bring them out like this, very important program. Yakura Indigenous Knowledge Centre are proud to host the Aboriginal youth in their traineeships. I think it's important for the Aboriginal trainees to get these opportunities so in the future they can get a job in national parks, look after their country, protect their sites and pass that information on and set an example for the younger generation coming up. We track some of the turtles here in the middle of the forest. We put a transmitter on them which transmits a signal to the receivers that we've got scattered throughout the forest and that way we can tell where the turtles have been. We've tracked some of these turtles to travel as far as 20 kilometres. I learned how turtles were marked and tagged and how they're tracked and I thought it was really intriguing about um, learning about how the turtles are caught and what nets they used. I really liked the experience of knowing like how they put like the coating on and on the turtles and that. The whole tracking thing as well, of like how far the turtles can go as well. That's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, it's real good. Like go out, learn about young culture and like all the animals. Very proud senior elder to see this happening. What's really good about this program is the kids are coming out on country, they're connecting to country. So this gives them a sense of belonging, a sense of achievement, of empowerment with them in themselves. It's also really important that programs like the Living Murray continue to engage with traditional owners and take on board their views, knowledge and traditions.